A little piece of news I wanted to highlight today, uh, technology side of things actually today, that teaches a lesson that we get taught over and over again, but just can't seem to remember in the moment. The lesson being, when you're Goliath, eventually David comes around and takes you out. Now this is a little bit more interesting version of David and Goliath in that it involves Google being David. Uh, it is the browser wars, and this week marked the first time that Internet Explorer has given up the market share title in what browser people are using. Now, Internet Explorer, many people just know, is that blue E that comes installed on their computer and they click it to get on the Internet. It meant Internet for many, many people. In fact, at its highest, I think it had in the 90, 95% market share range. Everybody used Internet Explorer to get on the Internet. And then Firefox came along, and Mozilla put out this great product that people looked and realized, oh, there's actually cooler ways to get on the internet. You can do tab browsing, you can do all these different things. And so it started to chip away at the market share. And then even more recently, Google came out with Google Chrome, and it even more streamlined the internet experience. I've been a Google Chrome user and lover and disciple and uh, proselytizer for many years, and I'm so glad to see this week that they have taken the market share lead. There are now more people who use Google Chrome, or I should say more internet usage of Google Chrome than Internet Explorer, and I think that's a pretty big deal. Why? Well, because Internet Explorer was Goliath. They were in the 90%, and now Chrome, Google, David, has done the job. They put the, uh, they put the rock right in the forehead of Internet Explorer and there's nowhere to go from here except up. Will they always be the best internet browser? No, guaranteed not. Uh, maybe Firefox will make another run at it. Maybe Safari will make a run. Maybe they'll do something that's innovative and, and takes people. But I just think of this and I think, what's next, right? What's the next Goliath to go down? Maybe Google overall as a search provider. What if another search provider came along and showed us a new way that we could do internet search and started chipping away at Google? It's going to happen. What if it was uh, social networking? What if Facebook is the next giant to go down? That's my guess. Facebook just does not seem like it could be long uh, for this world. Just, it just seems so convoluted and more and more complicated every day and just it just feels like it's, it's a a piece of the past almost at this point. And it's amazing how quickly these things turn over. Does that mean the next big social network will be Google's social network, Google Plus? Well, it's probably the second place right now, but that's because it's the only other one. I don't know that it'll be Google Plus. It may be a third party or a fourth who comes along and says, no, look at what we just did here. And everybody goes, uh, yeah, I kind of want to go over there. Whatever the case, Goliath never stays Goliath. It just ain't going to happen as shown in an example this week in the browser wars.